What's up guys, I'm here with my 93 Chevy pickup. It's filthy dirty. I'm gonna wash it up here today at my wash. And as an owner, I'm gonna be able to show you what goes on behind the scenes, where you're wasting your money at car washes and how to get the best wash possible. So let's get into it. Now, every car wash you go to is gonna be a little bit different, but basically you're gonna have a control panel with multiple selections on it. I prefer to go to a car wash that has a credit card reader. You make your payment and then the time starts counting up and it calculates once you're finished rather than you putting money in, not knowing how much to put in, chasing the clock to the bottom and then wasting time later on putting more money in. The goal of the operator of the car wash is to keep this timer ticking. Essentially, they're just selling you time and so they put as many functions on here as possible so it draws out that process. And the idea is that you're gonna follow this rotary dial around in a counterclockwise motion using every single function. But a lot of people will just skip around and I see a lot of people just go soap, foam brush, and rinse. I'm gonna tell you why you're not getting the best bang for your buck there and that's why we're gonna go back into the uh, soap room now. In the soap room, you're gonna have all these different jugs of highly concentrated soaps. They're gonna be different colors, different scents. But the important thing to note is that they're gonna be low pH and high pH formulas. Basically, that just means alkaline and acidic. They're gonna work in conjunction with each other. That's why they're supposed to be used in a sequence. These get sucked up through these different hoses, up and over and into all these different tanks and are diluted down even further. And then once again, even diluted once they're injected into the base. The very first thing you need to look at when you pull into the car wash is the foam brush. This is a hog's hair foam brush. They're about $55. And this one is a nylon or synthetic foam brush. And they're about $20. Big difference. It's gonna tell you how much the owner's spending on soaps as well in the back room. Before you start, put it on rinse and rinse out that foam brush really good. Make sure there's no dirt in there from the last person. And then also rinse out the bucket as well and blow the dirt out of there. First step is get it a quick rinse, top to bottom. Don't worry about getting the whole car. Just knock off the big chunks of mud and get it wet. Next, I'm gonna let you in on my biggest secret. And I know I'm not the only car wash operator to do this, but my bug off and my tire cleaner are the exact same thing. They both come out of this guy over here on the curly hose. And I'm gonna put up a sign right here that says bug off and tire foam or bug and tire foam basically. But you see that it's just a nice yellow foam. And this is a degreaser chemical. So it's gonna break up like the asphalt, tar and dirt on your tires and it really sticks and clings really well but you can also put it on the bugs on the grill up front here and get the greasy bugs off as well and it's good on your paint too that's your first big tip is a lot of times you're gonna have the same functions under different names now this next function is the most overlooked and underrated function pre-soak a lot of people skip it because it's not as high pressure as the soap, but it's actually more important. I'm gonna change the name of mine to Dirt Buster because essentially that's what it does, is it busts up the dirt and it breaks it down. So I recommend spending a lot of time on this one. Even though you're not getting a lot of pressure out of the wand, that chemical is the most expensive chemical in that whole room. Soap, or sometimes it's labeled high pressure soap, is your next step. It's pretty self-explanatory, but on this step, you wanna make sure you get all of the remaining dirt off of the vehicle. this is worth repeating. Jump to rinse and rinse out the foam brush if you forgot to earlier. 
And my customers really enjoy this bubble gum foam brush. Scrub that tire cleaner in there really good. Get the rims. Once again, give it a quick rinse top to bottom. Don't overkill it. You're gonna do more rinsing on the next functions. Now here's my next secret, guys. These two functions are the same once again, but this time I'm justified in it. I've been anticipating putting a triple foam conditioner unit in, which I just got and I'm installing this week. It's gonna go right here on slot number nine. It's gonna spray out three different colors of foam and it's gonna prep the car for a hot wax. But for now, we're just doing the hot wax or clear coat, it's both the same. The reason this wax is important is because it helps the water beat up off the car for drying. You can faintly see it get a little bit sudsy, but you can definitely smell it. Mine is scented pina colada. Finally, you can jump straight to spot-free water. This is reverse osmosis water, or basically distilled water. Just means there's no minerals in it that are gonna dry and leave those white spots. And I do wanna give a special mention to a function that I don't currently have, but plan on getting. It's the air blowers. They work really good to blow out door jams, also around mirrors where you get a notorious drip right here a lot. But if you don't use wax or a good conditioner, the water's not gonna bead and it's not gonna hardly work at all. So make sure you follow these steps right. And there you have it. Those are my best tips for how to get your money's worth at the self-serve car wash. Comment below how the car wash that you use is different and follow my channel. Until next time.